வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹாய் மை டியர் கிட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சாப்டர் ஃபோர் விண்டோஸ் செவன் ஃப்ரம் நேஷ்னல் சைபர் ஒலிம்பியாடு என்சிஓ எம்டிஜி ஒர்க் புக் ஆஃப் கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் விச் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஹோல்ட் ட்ரூ ரிகார்டிங் விண்டோஸ் செவன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஒன் It is a part of Windows NT family of operating system. Correct statement. Statement 2. It's one of the best feature is app locker. So statement 2 also correct. Both statement are true regarding Windows 7. So option A only statement 1. B only statement 2. C both statement 1 and statement 2. D neither statement 1 nor statement 2. So option C, both statement 1 and statement 2 are true regarding Windows 7. Option C is the correct answer. Second one, which of the following application are shipped with Windows 7? A. Internet Explorer B. Windows Media Player C. Instagram D. Both A and B So, Internet Explorer and Windows Media Player are shipped with Windows 7. So, option D is the correct answer. Option D, both A and B. Instagram is a photo and video sharing social networking service. Okay, option D is the correct answer. Third one, in the given image, Windows need your confirmation by displaying three buttons. Save. don't save and cancel before closing any file it is called dash a notepad box b explorer box c info box d dialog box so it is called dialog box option d is the correct answer option d 4 the time is shown in the dash on the task bar a search box of start menu b scroll bar area c center of desktop d notification area or system tray so the time is shown in the notification or system tray on the task bar option d is the correct answer option d fifth one which of the following statement are incorrect about task bar in windows 7 One, it will display the program currently deleted by you and all user logged to the system. Incorrect statement. Two, all the programs currently open on your desktop. It is the correct statement. So the incorrect statement about taskbar is only one. Only one. Option A is the correct answer. Sixth one. To open a game like Minesweeper, click dash all program games Minesweeper. So to open a game like Minesweeper, you have to click on option C, Windows all program games Minesweeper. Option C is the correct answer. Option C. Seventh one. Windows 7 is designed to run on dash A, 32-bit processor. B 64 bit processor C 128 bit processor D both A and B so windows 7 is designed to run on both 32 bit processor and 64 bit processor so option D is the correct answer option D eighth one when a computer is idle for some time it goes into the dash mode to save energy A sleep B switch user C slow lock D shut down so when a computer is idle for some time it goes into the sleep mode okay it goes into the sleep mode to save energy option A is the correct answer option A ninth which of the following option is not found in accessories folder of windows 7 A sound recorder B backup and restore C remote desktop connection 
the sink center. So backup and restore is not found in accessories folder of Windows 7. So option B is the correct answer. Option B. 10th one. You can add new toolbar on your desktop by A. Right clicking on the taskbar. Then clicking toolbar. B. Going to the control panel. Then clicking toolbar. C. Right clicking on the taskbar. Then clicking task manager toolbar. D. Right clicking on start menu. Then clicking toolbar. So, you can add new toolbar on your taskbar by right clicking on the taskbar, then clicking toolbar. Option A is the correct answer. Option A. 11th one. When you shut down your Windows operating system computer, it automatically clears the content of dash. A. RAM. B. Hard drive. C. CD room. D. None of these. So, option A, RAM is the correct answer. Option A, RAM. Twelfth one. As soon as Windows start up and you log in, you see the dash. A, Notes. B, Folder. C, Desktop. D, Command Prompt. So, as soon as Windows start up and you log in, you see the desktop. Okay, you see the desktop. Option C is the correct answer. Option C. 13th, in Windows 7, when you click dash from the start button, 1. It ends the current session, 2. It closes all Windows program and documents, 3. It displays the login screen. Option A, restart, B, log up, C, hibernate, D, switch user. So, in Windows 7, when you click log off from the start button, okay? When you click log off from the start button, it will end the current session. It closes all Windows program and document and it displays the new login screen. So option B is the correct answer. Option B. 14th. A computer process physically reorganizes the contents of secondary memory like the hard disk by storing files into the smallest number of contiguous regions, this process is called dash. A. Drive sorting. B. Disk backup. C. Disk fragmentation. D. Drive compression. So, this process is called disk defragmentation. Disk defragmentation. Option C is the correct answer. Option C. 15th. In Windows Explorer, the dash on the left side shows the folder hierarchy on your computer. You can show or hide it. A. Navigation pan. B. Task pan. C. Menu pan. D. Address bar. So, in the Windows Explorer, the navigation pan on the left side shows the folder hierarchy on your computer. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. Okay. Next, achiever section 16th. Identify the window start mode. 1. In this mode, window start with a limited set of files and drivers. 2. This mode is useful for troubleshooting problem with program and drivers which might not start correctly and prevent windows from starting correctly. A. Safe mode. B. Start mode. C. Error free mode. D. Troubleshoot mode. So, option A. Safe mode is the correct answer. Option A. Safe mode. 17. Identify the following feature of Windows 7. By simply dragging the title bar of the windows, to the left and right, just give it a few quick shakes and Windows 7 will automatically drop all the other windows down to the taskbar, leaving your main window in place. Option A. Arrow main. B. Title shake. C. Arrow shake. D. Shake drop. 
So option C arrow shake is the correct answer. Option C arrow shake. Direction 18 to 19. Observe the given snapshot and answer the questions that follows. So 18th. Which of the following statement hold true regarding the given future? Statement 1. It is achieved by simply hovering the mouse over the show desktop button in the lower right hand corner of the taskbar. So correct statement. Statement 2. It is known as arrow bar future. It is incorrect. It is known as arrow peak future. Okay. Statement 2 is incorrect. It is known as arrow peak future. So it is one of the useful features added as of Windows 7. Simply move your mouse to the far right side on the taskbar for half a second to hide all open windows and see your desktop. So, only statement 1 is correct. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. 19th. Complete the given steps by replacing question mark to turn off this future. Okay. Steps. Right click the taskbar. Then select properties. Then taskbar and start menu properties dialog box appears. Then question mark, uncheck use arrow peak to preview the desktop option. Option A, start menu tab, B, taskbar tab, C, customize the D, button tab. So the question mark should be replaced by option B, taskbar tab. Okay, option B, taskbar tab is the correct answer. Last one. Which of the following step is correct if you want to hear a tone when you press caps lock, num lock keys? Option A. Control panel, ease of access center, make the keyboard easier to use, select the checkbox named, turn on toggle keys, apply. B. Control panel, display, toggle keyboard. Select the checkbox named turn on toggle keys and then apply. C. Accessories, control panel, display. Select the checkbox named turn on toggle keys, apply. D. Accessories, keyboard, display. Select the checkbox named turn on toggle keys, apply. So the correct option is from control panel, ease of access center, then Make the keyboard easier to use. Then select the checkbox named. Turn on toggle keys. Then finally click on apply. So option A is the correct answer. Option A. Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.